This is Twit. Connie, Lou, Owen, talk me down. <laughs> I am still in the reality distortion field. Uh, we watched the event. Apple announces the new M1 Pro. And as if that weren't good enough, the new M1 Max. Double the... I mean, everything's doubled or tripled over the M1, which was already fast. And the memory bandwidth is 3,000 gigabytes a second. And it's just like, what is going on? Um, I feel like Apple is flexing at this point. They didn't announce any desktop computers. They only announced, we're going to ignore the fact they announced colored mini home pods. We're going to ignore the fact that they announced a $179 iPod thing, which the AirPods for $179, which is crazy. Don't even go there. But they didn't announce, they just announced laptops. These are updates, the MacBook Pro 14 and 16. And they, on paper anyway, 21 hours of battery life. On paper, these things look like they they speed past everybody else. The only negative thing I've seen, and remember, nobody has one yet. Review or they have them, but they can't talk about them. Reviews aren't out yet, so we'll see real numbers. Again, I'm in the reality distortion field. But the worst thing I saw was Tom's Hardware said, "Well, okay, they're pretty fast, but the GPU on the MacBook Pro 16 isn't quite as fast as a maxed out." nvidia on a desktop well yeah it's a laptop um wow okay i'm connie am i nuts should i just take a chill pill and relax is this not the best thing ever well you should wait for the reviews next i guess week, so that's yes for sure. <laughs> but to your point are they supposed to be smoking fast or what's apple's expression wicked fast yeah yeah I mean, that's their whole selling point, the CPU, number of GPU cores, um, you know, starting RAM, all of that. I mean, up, up, up. And why? Because most people have laptops. Nobody needs this. No, there, <laughs> I mean, there's there's people who need it, but there's a small, tiny number of people, right? Well, the, I guess you can never have too much power and too much speed that's the right? thing you don't, people, you don't yeah. think you need it people like me go oh i have to have it even though i'm really all i'm doing is doing you know taking notes in apple's notes <laughs> i mean i'm not i'm not exactly challenging anything uh i'm not going to need all this four thousand gigabytes per second memory bandwidth 57 billion transistors in the m1 mac now, that includes memory uh, the unified memory, though, 64 gigabytes is interesting because that memory is available, of course, for the CPU, but also for the GPU. So you now have a laptop which has massive memory on the GPU, uh, built-in hardware decoding and encoding for video, for ProRes, MP4, and uh, HEVC, uh, a neural engine. I don't even know what you can do with that. Maybe uh, build... Uh, Hal 9000, I don't know. Thunderbolt 4. So, so you, okay, you didn't answer my question. You, you spent money. What did you buy? Okay, well, <clears throat> some of this I had to buy. I, I'm not asking whether you did. I'm just, I, just answer <laughs> about, the I spent about, question. I spent about, if you don't include, about $10,000. No, no, which version, which one did you I buy? I got, now? okay, I bought two of the, uh, two maxed out. One of them is a gift because I promised a graduation gift to my nephew who just graduated from Rhode Island School of Design. He's a graphics designer. He needed a high-end laptop, so I promised him. I thought they were going to come out in June. They didn't come out. He needs it because he's using uh, high-end graphics stuff. He needs a really good GPU. And then one I got uh, for testing here. And then, see, maybe Connie doesn't know this, but we are stupid. <laughs> we buy everything that we're going to review. So... Uh, I, we don't because I don't I don't like Apple. I don't want to talk to him. So uh, we didn't you know, we have people who do this who get loaners. Jason got a loaner, the Pixel 6. I'm sure Renee Ritchie has all the Apple laptops. But we so I bought one that we'll review and then I'll give it to our uh, our lead editor, Anthony Nielsen, because he should probably have this. But but you'll be proud of me, Owen. <laughs> it hurt. I didn't want to. But I bought the base model M1 Pro a mere two thousand dollars because i could get that one on tuesday so there would so i'd have a chance of reviewing it before i left so 
Okay, L- Lou, do you have anything to say about this Apple stuff before I get into this? Because he's going to beat me up. I can tell you're going to beat me up, how aren't do, you? How do we know? I do. I do actually. I do. You know what? I'm a I'm a huge fan. I'm a big fan actually. Um, the the M1 architecture when we first got our hands on that was like ridiculously fast. Like I think we were able to compile a full you know office client as faster than our Xeon processor. So I'll tell you like it's very fast. And and and, and I this can is tell even you that the pow- this is like twice as fast as that was. More, even faster than that. Like it's you're talking about like f- seven times more transistors. And like this it's, isn't like it's, even their yeah. desktop. There's right. still going to be a Mac Mini Pro and an iMac Pro and a Mac Pro next year. I it, Apple is just show, is. I mean, it looks like. I think Om Malik called him. Said a number of people said, "Look, you know what? They're a silicon company now. They are no longer uh, a uh, operating system company. They're no longer a computer company. They're they are a silicon company." It's this, a, this is a Steve. Yeah, this is a Steve Jobs yeah. thing, though. Like, think about it. This is this is what Steve Jobs would have done if he was a silicon company, right? He he threw the yeah. kitchen sink in. They threw the kitchen sink in just to show how powerful they can be, and there's nobody's going to be able to catch it was up a total for say, flex. one to two years. Yeah. Yes. Right. So let, let's talk about it. This is the MacBook Pros now are completely stepped away from Intel, right? This yep. is all Apple. All Apple. Uh, all Apple Silicon. And they went over the top. Also, remember, Apple has suffered with the pro market on their laptops because you Absolutely. could get a more powerful Windows machine, no question. Yeah. Uh, you know, up until they announced this, um, people were like, it's not worth the money, right? All of the designers and programmers. And so they're just trying to smoke out the market. And... <laughs> Two thousand dollars for the fourteen-inch Mac Pro with all of that capacity—that makes them very competitive now. And will they be two years ahead? I, I don't know. I hope Lou, maybe he's right. But I don't think anybody can catch ahead. up. Yeah, I don't. I don't see how you catch up because you're using off-the-shelf components that are not beautifully integrated with your operating system, uh, and so you just you're limited. Off-the-shelf is never going to be good as purpose-built, and these are purpose-built. They're basically Swift machines. They're designed to run Apple software optimally. Ah, they're okay. Now, can I get in now? Nope, nope, nope. You I'm just, not done yet. One more thing. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, then it's ahead. your turn. The thing that's really interesting is this is a complete repudiation, to your point, Connie, of the 2016 MacBook Pros. They basically said, oh, yeah, sorry about that keyboard. Sorry about the touch bar. Really sorry about the MagSafe Really yep. sorry. Oh, God, did we blow it? Uh, we're going to make it thicker, heavier. And it's HDMI gonna, port. We're going to put it just to make you people from the 90s feel okay. We're going to put an HDMI port and an SD card reader on there. By the way, UHS 2, pretty good. Nice, fast one. Um, it, it's, it's almost as if they said Johnny Ive doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> right? He doesn't. But yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this is, I think, for people like me who loved the Mac from ni- going back to 1984, I'm relieved. It really, after 20, I kept my 2015 MacBook forever because it's 2016. I thought, they don't care about the Mac. They're an iPhone and iPad company, and this is an afterthought. And boy, I mean, that's not the case. It's clearly not the case now. Okay, I'm done. Oh, doctor, <laughs> it's your turn. Flay me. Roast me, as the kids say. It's, it, it's not you. First and foremost, physically... This is a sexy Lamborghini. Oh, yes, you brought me ports back. You brought me the Mag a Lambo. Back. I, yes. I can plug things into it. But the Lambo needs a hydrogen fuel system, and no one has hydrogen fuel <laughs> at the corner gas stations, okay? I was conned into buying a Mac Mini. I got it fully tricked out, and I thought to myself, it was going to be the fastest. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Guess what? You got the old one. You want yeah, the new no, one. I, I, got, I got the new one. I <laughs> no, got no, the new that's one. the old new one. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, going to yeah, be a yeah. new, new one. Yeah, 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 there'll be a new, new one. But guess what? <laughs> I live an Adobe lifestyle, and I can't edit photos on my M1. Now, you tell me what. Now, now you, now, you don't oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Jigga- Listen. Lightroom, Photoshop, Camera One, all of the Capture One, all of them are now M1 native. They are, well, okay. It took them a while, a, I admit as it. A, as a user... And someone who talks to photographers all the time, it is slow as I don't know what. What? I tell you what. They don't like not, it? You don't like it? 
People, people don't like it. It's not just me. I will send you some files. You go open it up on your current M1 and tell me how you oh, feel but, about but the situation. I, my current M1 is now going to be the M1 Pro. But, but okay, that, that, that's and guess what? For for all the Lamborghini that you're telling me, it better work. Four hundred gigabytes industry. a second. It better work with the industry standard programs. So is, is, what the, I'm is the issue you can that throw all these numbers that you want, but I need compatibility. I think that's changing. Apple stuff. I think that's changing. I agree. Uh, look, they did Rosetta two, which was good. Intel stuff run okay, not great. But I'm even now when I open my M1 notebook and I look at the Activity Viewer, there are no Intel processes anymore. Almost everything. My f Emacs is freaking M1 native now. Again, maybe maybe it's just me, or maybe it's just can user. Maybe it's the file that the way this file is. Maybe it's too big. I don't know what it is. But I know the when your I'm files are too big. That's clearly the problem. No, I, I think iPad. Owen has a Owen has a good point. Uh, Apple has lost professional. Users and they're not coming back. You think they're the not best. coming back? I, I want to come back. I think, I think they might come back because it comes down to, you know, uh, computers are a religious experience, right? And if you if you're unhappy with your religion because they, oh, that's they, very good uh, point. You know, yeah. left you behind. You might yeah. be more willing to give them a second, second try. But there's no question that people abandoned the Mac um, Pro models. They they were not, you know, compatible oh, or as fast. And so. This is their answer to that. You're now, talking to somebody you're who bought a very expensive trash can Mac. Look, oh yes, it, that was, what were you doing? That what were a, you <laughs> doing? I mean, I deeply regret the wasted money. The, uh, it the, was terrible. So, you're, and that's why I'm that's why I'm yelling at you about this. So I'm going to send you some files because I know you're a person who pay for your own stuff. So I can believe you when you say you opened it and it's lightning fast. I watched so many reviewers say, "Oh, this is the no, it's not." All no, right, I, no, it's not. I'm gonna. I'll tell you what. Send me whatever now, that though. file is, and what do you want me to open it in? Uh, 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 Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay. I might even send you some 8K video. You can go pop that Send open. me some 8K video. <laughs> and, and again, when I say that, I will say Final Cut is smooth as butter, boy. Like I said, when, when it's their product, yeah, it's their working product. with the M1, yeah. it is on my iPad, my new iPad, and the little uh, mini. It is phenomenally fast on 8K, which is impressive for the, the base this is, model and machine. This is a laptop. Right, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, for, exactly. Again, Apple products, I expect it to destroy anything that I throw at it, Apple native wise. But I just want to see how it works with all the programs, and and I, I'm going to buy one too, Uncle Lee. I'm coming back. Lightroom, they, Lightroom they Classic, in. Lightroom Classic is M1. I don't know about the new Lightroom. I hate it anyway. So, but Lightroom Classic they, is M1. I Photoshop is M1. So they're native now. You're they, get the thing that's interesting here is you're getting because it's unified memory. Back me up on this, Lou. You're getting really good throughput. Because everything's on the same die, uh, same core, same thing. Not right. core, but same die. Well, you got to remember the the first M1 processor was just to tease the market. It was, it's you know, they called it the MacBook Pro, but it wasn't. No, no, it's not really a MacBook. It was Pro. the it's, entry it's, level. Yeah. Everybody told me yeah, it's, entry, it's level. entry level. Don't think of this as anything but entry level. Now I, you got to remember, Adobe's had a, a long time now, years, to go in and and to go into to build against this new architecture. And I, I can almost guarantee when this thing comes out, there'll be updates, and you'll see a big difference. Uh, and and Lou, just to be fair, uh, as as you know, someone who doesn't know me, I yell at this, but I I'm, I bought one. I've already ordered one. Yeah. Okay. He gives me a hard, he gives me a hard time. How I'm much just, did you I'm spend just, this Monday? I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I mean, I, look, I, again, the big the, you talk about religion. The biggest thing to say about life is, is that thing I was telling you about when I got robbed yeah. before. Yeah. My Macs got stolen. I thought to myself, you know, what? I'm going to start building a PC. And for the last six years, I've done nothing but build PCs. And this laptop has reeled me back in because guess what? No more dongles. I get to actually plug things yeah. in. Oh, I mean, it's, it sounds dumb. They had me at MagSafe. Okay, they had me <laughs> at MagSafe. All right, that's all your boy needed. So um, we're going to find out, Uncle Leo. We're going to find out. But yeah, I ordered one. I ordered the base model because I thought, well, let's see how the base model is. You know, I mean, that's going to be interesting. I'll be comparing that basically to an M1 from last year. Uh, but I, it, I have to, I, again, it's just numbers on the page. It's numbers provided by Apple. So you can't really say this is how it is. On paper, it really looks very impressive. And it looks like and Apple's I, got some amazing chops. At what it and I went mid-tier because you can't update anything once you get the thing. Oh, it's, so all, just, it's all on the motherboard. Yeah, so it's I, I, it's I not went, even on the motherboard mid, the now. The memory is in the, yeah. the SOC. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Upgradable? No. But you you got to max no. it out. Yeah. That's, no. that's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got to max it. Yeah.
That's why the Apple card is uh, so, so very handy. <laughs> oh, God. I, well, I still don't have one, so I didn't get my 3%. Oh, so, you know, just, God. Some people got 6%, by the way. And it turns Woo! out, for a while, I thought, oh, this is good. They're upping it to 6%. And then Apple said, no, that was a mistake. But we are going <laughs> to but we're going to honor it. So good for them. Uh, you may have gotten, I don't think I got six back. I wish I had. What's that? That's a lot of money. That's 600 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it would be an expensive week. I just didn't know how expensive. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'll give you a hard time. What is 6% of $10,000? I didn't get the new watch, and I didn't get the new phone, so that helped justify the laptop purchase. I tried to... 6% you know, of 10 is 600 bucks. Right? Am I wrong? Who's so I need an M1 <laughs> processor, clearly. I need an M1 Max. My, my, I need a better CPU. Floating point operation. I can't do it. That's right. Give me integers, baby. I can't, uh, I can't do Is it. Is it fast enough to do fractions? That's all we need to know. <laughs> really? You know, I have to say, Emacs runs so beautifully on the M1 Max. It's so sweet. It's just great.